Hi there. In this video, I'll show how I went about building a CNC table for my lathe. I first had the idea for this project after deciding to purchase a new lathe. I wanted the lathe to have a CNC capability, but a full-blown CNC turning center was way beyond my budget. So I took to the internet to research various options. All of the conversions that I had seen generally involved the removal of the lead screw and various modifications to the lathe in order to fit the ball screws and steppers. While this was always feasible, I wasn't happy about the loss of some of the lathe's standard features, most notably thread cutting. So after much thought, I decided to create a CNC table that would mount on top of the lathe bed. There are, however, several downsides to this design, notably the maximum effect of swing is reduced, the maximum length of material that can be turned is reduced, and the tailstock cannot be used. That said, I don't plan to turn large parts from this table, so these limitations are acceptable for me. 25mm linear guides and carriages are used for both the Z and X axes. The ball screws and nuts are 1605, the steppers are NEMA 23s. For the fabrication, all of the plates were milled and drilled on my small CNC milling machine. The Z, X and chuck plates were all fabricated from 15mm 6082 aluminium. The T-nuts used to secure the table to the lathe were fabricated from 15mm mild steel. The ball screws were cut to length using an angle grinder. New bearing surfaces were then turned on the mini lathe. The outer layer of these ball screws is extremely hard, so carbide tooling is necessary. Even so, it's hard going until you break through the hardened layer. After that, the machine beautifully. The underside of the ball screw bearing blocks were also milled to reduce their heights. The stepper mounts were fabricated from 5 and 10 mm 6082 aluminium plates. A tooth belt drive with a 2 to 1 reduction is used for the Z axis. This was done in order for the stepper to clear the lathe saddle. Finally, the tool post is from an old mini lathe. I'll probably swap this out later and replace it with a quick change tool post. The electronics were straightforward. The NEMA 23 steppers are reconditioned and were purchased on eBay. A 30 volt 8 amp switch mode power supply is used and was also purchased on eBay. DB30 connectors are used to connect between the stepper drivers and the steppers and between the parallel port of the PC and the stepper drivers. I used Linux CNC as the CNC controller. This is an excellent piece of open source software and was a piece of cake to install and configure. So with the CNC table mounted on the lathe, dialed in and wired up, it was time for a test. A quick design of a cylinder with a ball end was done in Fusion 360. Post-processing was done with the Linux CNC turning post-processor. So here's the footage of the design being turned.
And here are the two finished parts in mild steel and aluminium with different outer diameters. The surface finishes are not bad. The tool height was a little off center, so there are slight ridges in the center of both parts. So in conclusion, this has been an interesting little project and opens up all sorts of possibilities for this lathe. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like and thanks for watching.